need two guns. One to shoot the projector and one to shoot the screen. Because that's how I felt watching this movie. It's getting the worst rate in since I started CinematicCritic.com. A 3 out of 11. Now I know, oh, you say, I know you might say, oh, but it got Mark Wahlberg and Denzel Washington in it. That doesn't make the movie good. You saw what happened to Leonardo DiCaprio in Django Unchained. What was Universal thinking? And who are these EFF people? This is the first time hearing of them, and not good. Watching this movie was a totally different experience than what I'm going to make it seem like in this review. Trust me here, it deserves the 3 out of 11 rating. The action, the action sequences were very few and very, very short. We're talking less than a minute in most cases. Anyway, it starts without the credits. It's two, it's the two, Robert Trench, to be called Bobby throughout the movie, and Mr. Stickman, to simply be called Stick throughout the movie, and they are at a diner, which they proceed to blow up. Yeah, we're already two minutes, two minutes, we're just two minutes in the movie, and they're already blowing up things. We go back to one week ago, and I was like, okay, okay, okay maybe things will make sense now. The story starts to really unfold, is what I wrote, but the plot itself is unclear. Until they are pulled over at the border. It's revealed that Bobby is a DEA, a DEA detective, some, a drug something administration detec de detective. After a drug de he's after a drug dealer named Greco. Also, he plans to rob the bank, a bank with Stick, Mr. Stickman's help. Stick teaches Rob, uh, Bobby about how. Stick teases Bobby about how he thinks he's DEA, but reveals he doesn't actually think that. But Bobby is. Stick's also a drug dealer, I guess, but he's also, in addition to being a drug dealer, turns out he's like a dirty Navy man, and we'll get into that in a, a second. But back in the present day, the montage carries out the first part of the plan again. Meanwhile, we see Stick's Navy buddies. It's revealed that if he can capture Bobby, he'll be back in the Navy. Yeah, well, it's, that's kind of funny, you know, capturing a, a DEA agent. Again, not making much sense here. The second part of the robbery is finally carried out. Then Stick, for some reason, shoots Rob. Additionally, now he finds the DEA badge in, in, in Bobby's hands. The next scene is the Navy guys that he's with are crooked too, as I've said, and they want, they want Bobby dead, and when they find out that he's not dead, it's open season on stick. And there's another short, less than a minute action sequence or I should say a little action moment, really. And it, en and it ends when we switch to, see, uh, as we watch, Bobby getting healed by a girl named Debbie. And after that, he reveals to Debbie he's going to investigate Stick, Stick's apartment, feeling he may have missed something about this kid. The scene, and, and he doesn't know he's Navy. The scene at the apartment is an interesting dialogue between the two. Meanwhile, after that, one of our antagonists, a commander, has a little talk with Bobby. Which does include some violence, but very minimal. The next scene inclu includes a chase after a short face-to-face -face with Stick... After a short face-to-face -face with Stick and Bobby. It's a battle in pickup trucks. Again, a short AS. Now, another dialogue confuses me even more, and this is the turning point of the movie. Not in a good way. Now, another dialogue confuses me, plus Stick seems excited to work with Bobby now. So, yeah, we're going to go into spoilers now, but, uh, honestly, if you think it's me having trouble with this review, I'm having trouble, because the movie had trouble, in this case. 
Anyway, spoiler time. They capture Greco, but they don't get much info. Yet again, there's a short action sequence. On our first flip of the movie, pretty far in, it's revealed that Debbie has set them up, and they are captured by Greco and his men. After agreeing to get the 40 Three million for Greco that they robbed from the bank. The next few minutes is a montage of them sneaking back into the U.S. and breaking into the base on, onto a base in Texas. You know, this is the point where Stick tries to tell someone in charge at the Navy base about the dirty Navy buddies he has. But... That ends up not working. No one, li no one listens, and they said that in addition to taking care of that, taking care of those uh, dirty people, the, uh, those crooked is the word I believe. They're gonna take care of stick too. So they kick him off the base. The movie has jumped ar around now from too slow to way too fast. Twists and turns abound at the base actually have me clueless about the plot, in a bad way. Debbie confuses me. Because now she is shot, and she's out of the picture. Okay. After that, Bobby finds the money. He meets Stick in an area, despite Stick not wanting him to, and then when he, Bobby gets there, Stick is all happy he's there. You know, that that's classic, but... A little too not thought out. And, you know, there's a, again, a, there's a two-minute finishing action sequence that wraps up the movie way too fast. I was hoping for a pushback to the four, but it never did come. There, ne there never was closure. There never was detail. There never was enough. <sighs> I can't say much more about this movie it's a three out of eleven that's it and if I may um, did not do Denzel Washington or Mark Wahlberg justice especially Denzel and oh god <laughs> well let's just hope some a movie cut that I've rated movies too before. Let's hope one of those comes along. Because this just became the worst movie of the summer for me.